Nonprofit Spotlight is at Alzheimer's Assistance Fund. I'll be talking with Board President Joan Benson and Director Lynn Hickerson. Let's start our spotlight. Thank you, Joan, for joining us today. Will you start off by telling our viewers the mission of Alzheimer's Assistance Fund? Um, our very specific mission is to uh, grant money to those families and patients who have Alzheimer's and dementia um, money to pay for licensed residential care. And you're a fairly new nonprofit. When was uh, the Alzheimer's Assistance Fund formed? We were formed in 2009 by a group of very committed individuals um, who realized th that even though we have many wonderful organizations, uh, like for instance the Alzheimer's Association who does an incredible job with education and research um, uh, and funding uh, throughout the United States, and we have a very strong one in Santa Barbara. Hospice is another, uh, senior care, uh, senior living, they all do a wonderful job, but the gap, the, the, the little hole is, there is nowhere for people to go to get money, the money they need to take care of their loved ones who may be in a facility for anywhere from five to 20 years. Let's talk more about that. What does the specific person kind of look like in, in terms of their life and their disease that would be um, aided by the Alzheimer's Assistance Fund over, say, the Alzheimer's Association? Um, I can give you an example. I, I received so many phone calls since, since we went into business and began our website. Um, I've received some really heartbreaking letters. Uh, one from a woman whose husband had a heart attack. At the time, she was taking care of her father. Her mother's dad. Her father has Alzheimer's. Pretty advanced. They were trying to take care of him at home. Her husband was not able to go back to his job because of his... His heart attack. His heart attack, his exactly. She is now responsible. She's the head of household. And then her son lost his job and moved in with his wife and two wow. children. So this is not the calmest environment for this poor man who is advancing with this disease every day. And she, I mean, her financial resources, she's about to lose her home. What does someone like this do? And, and you can find yourself there in an instant. Very easily. The ceiling, the care is so expensive uh, because, I mean, it's their medications, it's 24-hour surveillance, it's nutrition, it's uh, keeping them safe, it's making sure they're in their beds. I mean, it is, it's very different from senior care and senior living. This is very, very um, intense. You need the right kind of caregivers. You need the right kind of facility. And those facilities can cost you anywhere from $3,000 to $8,000 a month. Where are people in that kind of situation going to get that kind of money? Exactly. You mentioned that Alzheimer's Assistance Fund was formed in 2009. Tell me about the unique qualities that make up your board. Um, I think what makes our board extremely unique is that every single one of our board members, every director, has had a personal experience with this disease, whether it be a family member, uh, a friend, um, a co-worker, uh, a mentor. Uh, so that, you know, these people are extremely committed. This board is self-sustaining. Uh, everything that comes in, every donation that comes in goes to the fund. Uh, our office space is underwritten, our equipment is underwritten. Um, every board member contributes, whether it's working on grants, uh, working on our this, this new application that we are doing for people to use in the most simple and straightforward way so that we're not frustrating them any more than they need to be. Um, so everyone has a job, and people on our board, which is very small, serve on more than one committee, whether it's fundraising or uh, individual solicitations, um, talking to corporate sponsors who um, have departments for social responsibility in the community. We're all working. And what all is the time. 
What is the strategy for the Alzheimer's Assistance Fund? How do you plan to meet your goals? Well, we're very encouraged because we are very new and we've received two major grants, one from the Ann Jackson Family Foundation, of which we're very proud. Congratulations. Because it's, they're, they, they, they've done an amazing job in this community. And so we're very honored that they chose us as one of their recipients. And then the Bull Foundation as well. We are currently applying for eight others. So that's one way, obviously through foundations, through our individual contacts, people who feel very strongly as we do. And lastly, our website, my contact information is there. I'm here all the time. Um, there's also uh, an opportunity at the bottom to donate and n there is not a contribution that is too small. Perfect. So. Thank you, Join, for talking with us today. Thank Up you, Megan. Up next, we'll be talking with Lynn. Thank you, Lynn, for joining us today. Thank you for having me. As a board member of Alzheimer's Assistance Fund, can you describe for me the urgency that the, the board feels for providing assistance for families that are dealing with Alzheimer's? Yeah, the world is facing a worldwide crisis right now dealing with Alzheimer's. Uh, worldwide, the cost of care for dementia in 2010 will exceed 1% of the GDP for the entire world. Incredible. The cost of this care just for 2010 will be over six billion, $600 billion. Wow. So it's an enormous amount of money. And Alzheimer is going to affect everybody. You know, either a family member, a friend, co-worker, or just the cost of handling That's this as a society. Um, if the care for dementia were a company, its annual revenue based on the cost of dementia care would be the largest by revenue corporation in the world. Wow. It would exceed Walmart and it would exceed um, Exxon. You mentioned that we're all affected by this and I can speak personally that um, my grandfather, who just recently passed away, uh, suffered from Alzheimer's and dementia. And I know how mm -hmm. uh, much of a need this support is. How can one of our viewers contact uh, Alzheimer's Assistance Fund either to donate, to provide support to you, who provides so much support to our community, or to perhaps seek or find resources for funding? Yes, that's very easily. You can go to our website. <laughs> Uh, there you will be able to contact us either by email or by telephone. Uh, there are staff on board that will be there to answer your questions, give you the, you know, some answers, help you give some direction on some of the things that you're struggling with, and to also fund, help fund this. Well, I'd like to thank you, Lynn, for talking with us today about this issue. I know it's so important for families to have that support in the community when they're going through Thank you very, time. very much for having us. It's been a pleasure. You're watching Nonprofit Spotlight. If you'd like your nonprofit featured in a future Nonprofit Spotlight, contact us at the information on your screen.